Hey besties, my name is Rebecca aka Bean Boy Day a Cat and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in Astoria, Queens. I rarely ever go up here, but I heard of this restaurant called, could you be quiet, Oliver? Savage Sicko. It is vegetarian. I think it's vegetarian. Again, as usual, I have not done enough research before uh, driving out somewhere. One moment. It's vegan! It's vegan! So they have Latin vegan food. The color scheme is <laughs> sick. It's like neon pink and green and blue. And they claim to make vegan food so good they can make a shark go vegan. They have Sunday drag brunches too, which is super cool. Although I didn't want to shoot at one because it would probably be too loud, you know, for the camera. Um, so I'm just here on a regular basic day. It is noon 06 and we're about to check it out and see if it's as neat in person as it looks like on Instagram. Let's go. Wait, we're still here. We gotta pay the, we gotta pay the meter. But I can't find the, oh, uh, 414655. I'll do two hours just to be safe. Four dollars, start parking. Okay, now we can go. Here it is, looks like they have a outdoor area that's heated, which is awesome because while I'm not wearing my winter jacket, it is a little bit cold today. Oh, they have bowls for puppies. Oh, this is cute. Love the fish tank. So they have an area in the back as well. I think I'm gonna be sitting here just cause it's so cute and quiet and well lit. But let me show you the inside really quick. It's a little dark, but look at this beautiful mural. And here's the QR code if anyone wants the menu. Okay, so we temporarily, hopefully for the rest of the video, have the whole back area to ourselves. This is awesome. Ignore the humming, it's the heat. So it's either that humming or me being ice cold. But I'm gonna get the menu. Actually, you know what? Let's scan. Remember when like QR code menus first became popular and I was like awestruck? I was blown away. That was my first time getting forehead scanned at a restaurant. I'm not mad at it. Um, I usually get forehead scanned at the gym all the time though. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, they have nachos. They have nachos. Well, it looks like a breakfast nacho. Crispy tortilla chips, black beans, vegan cheese, bechamel, tofu scramble, guacamole, pico de gallo radish. Ooh, mmm. Oh, ceviche. Cauliflower wings. There's a burger. Empanadas, tostones, Nutella toast, pancakes, chilaquiles. I will have to make my decision and get back to you. One moment. I'm back. I think we're gonna do flautas, nachos, chicken sandwich. Mac and cheese? I feel like it's a lot. Or maybe a dessert. Mac and cheese or dessert. Do I want mac and cheese or dessert? Mm. I'm gonna ask the server which is better. Update, he said mac and cheese, so that's what we got. Honestly, like in my head, I wanted him to say mac and cheese, so I'm glad he did. That mask knee. I've been getting like, and it's burying oh oh whoa whoa you gotta see the what oh could you see it through the plastic oh look look it's like it's like burying his nuts or something <gasps> oh my god everything looks so freaking good i will be so surprised if this isn't delicious so over here we have the flautas and then we have the nachos they look so good the mac and cheese, I went with the mac and cheese. I think those are hemp, no? Oh, am I blind? Those are breadcrumbs. And then we have the chicken sandwich. We have sweet potato fries and hibiscus tea. Oh, I cannot wait to start eating because I haven't had breakfast yet. Honestly, I didn't think this outdoor seating area would get so warm, but it's nice and toasty. I'm taking my jacket off. So weird having this whole back area to myself. I'm starting with the flautas. Like usually I'm a nacho person, but they look so good that I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna look up ingredients. Crispy corn tortilla, mushroom, vegan cheddar cheese, black bean sauce, vegan cheese, bechamel, guacamole, pico de gallo, radish. Mm. Can you handle? Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's freaking delicious, bro. The mushrooms on the inside are so yummy. You can't tell, but 
has mushrooms on the inside, and the core tortilla is crispy, and the bechamel sauce and the bean sauce, salty, yummy. Wow. Okay, I have a feeling that the nachos and the flautas are like cousins. It seems to have a lot of the same ingredients. So if this is good, this is about to be delicious. Hold up, no, you gotta see this. Ooh, all right. Except for this has tofu scramble in it and the, and the flout just doesn't. I've told you guys this before. You know, I shoot a lot of restaurants, right? And every once in a while I hit a restaurant and I'm just like, how have I been doing this so long and I haven't tried this yet? That is fantastic, bro. The, the tofu scramble itself doesn't add like much flavor, but I still like the texture and I like knowing that I'm getting protein with my nachos. Freaking delicious. I can't stop. As is my problem usually with nachos. Yes. Naturally, we have to hit the mac and cheese before it gets cold. So the mac and cheese is a cashew sauce. Um, and the top is breadcrumbs. So let's do this. Oh, it's hella creamy. Come on, there we go. Mmm, that's super creamy. And the top is crispy and shit. There's like rosemary in it. So it's super flavorful. Yum. And they have like fresh juices and stuff, so this is a hibiscus tea, which I haven't tried yet. That's good. It's not too sweet. It tastes like like candied hibiscus. All right, last thing, got chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries. Super crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. With a cilantro aioli. Oh, that's good. Growing up, I used to be against sweet potatoes, like all sweet potatoes. And now there are two ways that I'll eat sweet potatoes, and that is sweet potato fries or sweet potato pie, and that's about it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna make a mess. And here's a fried chicken burger. I'll put ketchup on it. That might be a little too much. It's really something I grew up eating, but I don't know what. It's good though. The chicken patty is super crispy. They toasted the bread. Yum. Yeah. I'll wrap it up outside. See you then. We're taking things to go so we're not wasteful. Oh, also, so I had a chat with the owner and they don't use plastic here or they tried their best not to use plastic here because he's very into sharks and sea life and he's very conscious of that and I love that. Gave me the, the biggest bag. I'm sure Roberto will be very happy. Oh, you know what? I can wrap up here while I pack. So here are my thoughts. The best, the best thing I had was the flautas, 100%. And then, the nachos. But honestly, they're very similar. That's why they're so good. Chicken burger, delicious. The chicken, I think it's like garden or something. The sweet potato fries, perfectly crispy and salty and yummy. This aioli, delicious. The mac and cheese, while good, is interesting. It's not the typical flavor you get when you have mac and cheese. It's more of like a lemon peppery, rosemary -y mac and cheese and not just like a straight up just creamy mac and cheese, even though it's creamy. I think I make sense. I think I make sense. This is absolutely delicious. It tastes like eating, mmm, like tart gummy candies, but through a straw. Wonderful. I recommend. I just want to say one more thing before I wrap wrap up. So I spoke to I spoke to the owner. Apparently, this concept started out as an energy drink. What he wanted to do was have a brand where athletes specifically could supplement their lifestyle with juices specifically formulated for their needs. And I think that's super awesome. 
Over the past year and a half, it's turned into a whole food concept with a juice bar. But stay tuned because the juice plans are still on the way. He's working with people to still sort that out, so stay tuned for that whenever it comes out. I'll like post about it on Instagram or something because I think it's pretty neat. And that is it. Um, definitely recommend you coming by. They also, again, do like drag brunches on some Sundays, I think. Just check their Instagram. They post about it there when they do it. I will have to come back with Roberto when they do because it sounds like so much fun. But that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, and Andrew. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.